If you feel like you're blocked in manifesting money, this technique can be something that helps you to expand and bring things in, getting back into the flow in the most love-filled, open-hearted way. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dana Claudette. I'm a modern feng shui master and founder of the School of Intention, which is an entire method and school of feng shui based on infinite possibility everything's possible, creative awakening, because that's how you manifest more, and your intention, your wishes, dreams, and desires coming to life. If you're looking to bring more of your wishes, dreams, and desires to life, one of the biggest things that you can do is to make sure that you stay open-hearted. That is one of the keys to really living in a magnetic way where things flow to you. We're heading into a season of money feng shui with the cash camp starting soon this year and everything begins with the free money feng shui video series. Below you can find all the videos and I hope that you love them all. This is an incredible class to help you to start sweeping away these common blocks to money. Now, I don't believe in focusing on money blocks. In fact, I made a whole video about money blocks that was pretty popular, uh, resonated with a lot of you, and I believe that if you focus on blocks, you're gonna get more blocks. And that doesn't mean that you can't eliminate limiting beliefs and eliminate all sorts of obstacles in life. However, it's this sense of what we are focusing on that will grow. Stay focused on the prosperity, stay focused on the greatness, stay focused on the love. And so that video might help if you've been feeling like money blocks are really present in your life where you feel like you're thinking about them a lot, uh, you've been focused on them, you're trying to clear them in all different ways. There's nothing wrong with doing any of that, but this little shift in this video can help if you feel stuck. And today's stuckness actually has to do with holding onto energies that no longer are a good fit for you, namely holding on to grudges. It's the prospering law of forgiveness that Catherine Ponder talks about in her groundbreaking book, The Dynamic Laws of Prosperity. This book I can say so much about. I've applied so much of this work in different ways to the feng shui that I do and to my own personal life, and it never fails to astonish me what happens. And this prospering law of forgiveness can open doors in your life that you didn't even realize were closed. And to really activate this law of forgiveness, there are just two things to do. One is to make a list of everyone that you need to forgive, and also make a list of everyone you would like forgiveness from. And so make your two lists and then go through a process and you might only be able to do a few a day where you sit down and you have a mental conversation with that person and tell them how much you love them, you forgive them, you let go of any grudges, you let go of any bad energy, um, all is forgiven, the energy is clear between us, everyone can prosper, and then you move on to the next person. Really be heartfelt about this. Don't just kinda go through and do it just for the sake of doing it. Really connect to the process. Same thing goes for all the people that you would like forgiveness from. Go through that process of forgiveness and ask them to forgive you. I am asking you to please forgive me now and go through the process. Now, of course, if there are people on this list that you can forgive in person, that's even better. If there are people on the list that you would like forgiveness from that you can call or meet up with and ask for forgiveness, even better, but that's not always the case. And it's not always pragmatic or a good idea at the moment to do those things. So just know you can go through this mental process and continue energetically to forgive, feeling your life get lighter and lighter every time you do this. And as you do this, as you truly forgive, you're going to see doors start swinging open in your life in the most amazing ways. And the 
most important piece of this is to also forgive yourself. And this is something that I think we all forget. We can blame ourselves for so many things, carry a lot of weight around with us of regret, things we wish we did. Why didn't we do that? Why didn't I do that? Uh, and you can just wipe that clean by continually forgiving and loving and accepting yourself. You can even look in a mirror every day and tell yourself how much you love who you are, all of these affirmations. Louise Hay has incredible affirmations in her mirror work, which is so powerful. All of these affirmations in a mirror are spectacularly powerful. And to take all your mirror affirmations to the next level, try cleaning your mirrors before you do the affirmations. It's going to help the sparkle and the shine, and it's going to make such a big difference. I know it seems like a small refinement, but these little, little details really do go the distance. So forgive others, forgive yourself, ask for forgiveness for those that you want to be free from and start clearing energy so that you can start to soar. As your heart opens, your magnetism grows and you're going to bring things into your life with so much more ease. I hope you love this and if you try it, please let me know what happens. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends if you're inspired to do so. It's an amazing way to support the channel and I appreciate you so, so much for helping get this work out into the world. And again, it is the season of Money Feng Shui and below you can find the free Money Feng Shui video series. I hope you love every single moment of it. I can't wait to hear your success stories. This entire channel is full of videos for you to explore. Have so much fun and I will see you soon. Bye.